What's up? My name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. So if you don't already know, I'm using the Windows 10 Insider development build and there's a ton of new features here. One of them that's been long awaited since Windows 7 and long requested is tabs in the Windows File Explorer. Previously, you were able to get this on Windows 10 and Windows 11, downloading third party apps such as the Files app and a couple of other YouTubers have covered this. Me, not so much. Something more interesting, however, is a first party officially built into the Windows Explorer tab system. No extra programs required to be running all the time, no extra apps, etc, etc. The only catch is that you have to be running the latest Windows Insider build on the developer release chain. This of course is going to be extremely buggy as tons of things are being tested and experimented on before they get moved across to the beta, then finally all the way down the chain to the main release cycle of Windows 11. Long story short, you probably won't be seeing this feature for quite some time. However, if you're willing to go through not only all of the issues of Windows 11, but the Windows 11 Insider builds, then hey, this is something you can test. Unfortunately, as this isn't built in with an official on button, we have to go through a different method of getting it enabled. And that method is using an open source piece of software called Vive. Essentially, it lets you interact with the Windows 10 AB feature mechanism to test out hidden features. Recently, it's been discovered that you can simply turn this on yourself if you're using a Windows 11 Insider build. As GitHub's been going for many years, with the last release more than a few years ago, so if there's anything insecure about this, it's more than likely been spotted. However, do note that by running the software, you are playing around with super experimental features that haven't even got an official on button yet. So I'll head across to the GitHub page linked down below and click the latest button on the right hand side or releases and look for the latest release. Then simply click the zip at the very top over here, Vive tool v0.2.1.zip. I don't think this will change for quite some time and I'll open up the zip in the Windows File Explorer. And as you can see, there's no tabs, there's nothing exciting. There's just two files here. Some people say you need to drop this into your Windows directory. However, I'm pretty sure you can place this just about anywhere. I'll make a new folder on my desktop called Vive Tool, but it doesn't matter where you put this. I'll simply extract these two files into the folder and close the zip. Then inside of here, I'll click at the very top and we'll copy the address as such. I'll hit start, type in terminal, and I'll right click the Windows terminal and choose run as administrator. Now inside of here, we'll want to type in CD space and I'll paste in the folder name as such that we should be taken across to it. DIR, you can see the files in here as Vive tool and albacore vive.dll, the same two files here. So we're in the right place. If you notice that you're on C drive over here, the address doesn't change. However, you asked to change it to a different drive, you'll need to type in the drive letter colon and then hit enter to navigate across to the right place. Anyways, now that we're in the right place, all we need to do is type in a specific command, vive tool space and add config. If you'd like to ever get rid of this feature, simply navigate back here in an administrative terminal. And once again, vive tool, though this time you'll be using Dell config as such. So to activate it, add config space, and you'll find this in the description down below. 343-704-72 space two. Hit enter and magically the feature will be run. Yes, that's right, we need to add a dot slash if you're using PowerShell. So running it again, there we go. Successfully set feature configuration. Now, unfortunately, simply restarting the Windows Explorer isn't enough. We need to restart the PC entirely. So that's what I'll be doing now. And now after a simple reboot, I'll hit start and E to bring up a new file browser. And as you can see, we now have tabs at the very top. Super simple, they work exactly as you'd expect. You open a folder and you have whatever you have here. You can open a new tab and navigate across to a different place and of course switch between them. Can we drag files between them? Unfortunately, nothing like that at this moment. It's probably still very early in development. In fact, it definitely is still very early in development as well. There is no official on button for this. We've worked around and got our own way of turning this on and hey, the feature's sort of here. Of course, it'll be slightly glitchy, and if you try and do certain things, it might break, and that's why we have the remove command. Once again, if you ever need to remove it, open up the same directory in PowerShell or Command Prompt or Terminal, and you'll be running a Vive tool space Dell config space 343-704-72 space 2. Once again, you'll find these in the description down below, as well as the Vive software. Anyways, if you're willing to sit through all the bugs of Windows 11 and the Windows 11 Insider program, well, hey, this might be for you. 
Thank you all for watching. My name is Techno, but here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.